we don't have enough AMP mechanics. We know that. Uh, Industry-wide, uh, this is a huge problem. A lot of the ones that they have now are going to be retiring soon. For whatever reason, there was a big kind of a blob of them that came out all at one time, and a lot of them will be going away. And then there are more places where somebody like Boeing, for instance, has to have an AMP mechanic now, and before they wouldn't necessarily have had to be an AMP. The Aerospace Council had actually come out with a directive uh, wanting to align or have a common AMP school curriculum. And so uh, it, there was an opportunity for us to do this, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have funds that were available to pull something like this off, to get everybody together um, is a major feat. And just in terms of all the things that are happening in aerospace right now, um, with lots of attention being paid from different parts of the state, that now is the time if we were going to do this. So what came up repeatedly was this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and we have a chance to make it happen. I think one of the, the, the good things that's going to come out of this is that we as the five different schools across the state, uh, for the first time to my knowledge and my experience, we've been able to sit down and come to some agreement on some common curriculum. Uh, we have now agreement from all five schools on new courses for the entire program and uh, they're all going to be teaching the exact same classes. We're going to have common course numbering. Um, we've revamped the entire program for all five schools. I mean, it's really amazing. They're, they're really focused on aligning the curriculum. So what is taught at South Seattle, if a student went to South Seattle and then for whatever reason had to go to Everett AMP school, they would be able to pick up right where they left off and they'd be able to get, get that credit for that. So that's what's so important about aligning this curriculum and putting them in smaller modules so that uh, you, if you missed one particular module, you don't have to wait all the way until next fall to to pick it back up again. We're really still teaching the same things, the same subject matters. It's just going to be packaged a little bit different. Oh, I like the collaboration. You know, we can work together. I'd like to see us, you know, keep working together to the common goal of, you know, better instructing students, uh, better interaction between the schools. We want to have the best product that we can as far as students you know, when they get their certificated A&P license that they go out and do a good job for these guys. I mean, that's the bottom line. We want to be the best. And if this helps us be the best in the country, that's, that's where I'd like to go. I think this group really, truly, you know, sees the, the greater good that further down the line. They're looking beyond what they're doing right now to what's going to serve Washington better in the long run. It's helping, like I said, laying the groundwork for setting up a, a model for other aerospace or aviation programs because this is just one of the aerospace sectors. There's others. There's the manufacturing. There's the um, flight schools. Uh, so I'm hoping to stay with this and, and learn from it and just be able to replicate this for the other programs.